Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and today we are going to learn the tutorial on how you can install FTP server on your Windows 10 computer or laptop. The steps are simple but you need to pay some attention and follow these steps and then life will become more simpler. You can wirelessly transfer files in almost all your devices on the network and it happens quickly without the wires. So let's begin. So first of all you need to enable some features. So go to the Cortana search and type in control panel now let's go to the control panel and now you go to the programs and click on turn windows feature on or off now it will ask permissions if you're not on the admin account or else you can if you're on admin account it won't and enable the internet information services i have already enabled it so just enable it Click on the plus icon and enable FTP server and enable web management tools. And if you want to link this FTP like globally to your www site, so enable this. For me, I'm not doing this, so I will skip this. Click on OK. For me, it happened instantly, but for you, it will download some components and it will install. It will take some 10 to 15 minutes depending on your internet connection. Once you've done this, let's go to the desktop and type in. IIS or Internet Information Services. Once you go to the IIS, this window will pop up. So, this is the control panel of all your FTP sites. Let's go to the Chase PC, click on Sites, click on Add FTP Site. Now, before that, uh, I, I would recommend you to do one thing uh, just go to Start Menu. In the Start Menu, click on Change Account Settings. Okay. Now, just notice your username for me it's my microsoft account but for you it might be different so min remember this username it's all caps capital okay now go to family and other people and add a family member or add someone else to the pc click on this okay once you do this it will ask you for microsoft account you can just skip and add another user to your to the computer and name it as your name dash FTP. So why I'm doing this is because this will give permissions for the, the people to log into your FTP site or else they will require your the main account password and if you want to secure that you can create another account. This is recommend just create another uh, your local account. Uh, you can click on the your name dash FTP or something FTP. M make this account okay and exit all right go to IIS Click on add FTP site. Now give it a name. I will give Akshay dash server. Okay. And choose the path. So this is where all the files and folders are saved. You can either choose like a whole drive. I'm choosing the whole drive. If I have multiple hard drives, you can choose the whole hard drive or you can create folders. I will prefer the whole hard drive because all my files are in this directory. Click next. Now IP address. So for this, there are a lot of IP addresses. Okay. All you have to do is just press start R, type in CMD, command prompt will open, time, uh, type in IP config, okay, press enter. Now you can see the IP4 address, 192.168.1.103. This address should be mentioned here. So 103, there you have it, okay. Now no SSL, we don't want any security. If you want, you have mention the SSL certificate. Okay, so click next. Now basic access to specify users and now type your main account user ID. So it's actually funny that I showed in the settings. Okay. And click on comma and we will add that Akshay dash FTP. Okay. So two accounts, one so users can access and one your main account so you can control your FTP server. Give all the permissions, read and write. And click finish. There you have it. The FTP server is started. Okay. Now one more step you want to do. Two more steps. First of all, give your drive permissions. Okay. So go to the drive or folder you get. Click on properties. Okay. And now sharing. Uh, sorry, security. And give permissions to your new account. That is F dash FTP. So give permissions to that. You can click on edit and add the user. Let me show you. 
and add the user and you can just type in the Libra account and you can give the permissions. Once it's done, go to the Windows firewall, Windows Defender firewall, there you have it. Let's go to the Defender firewall. Now because the FTP set is ready, but the Windows Defender won't allow, it won't allow it to connect to a computer. So in the Windows Defender firewall, click on inbound rules. Now you have to give all permissions. So remember this FTP, FTP20, FTP21, FTP22. So these all are the ports. So the 420, the 421, and 422 should be given permission. Same goes to the outbound rule. In the outbound rule, give permissions. Now I will let you know how you can do that. Click on new rule. Okay. Click on port. Next. Click on PCP and specify the port. So for example, it's 21. Click next. And allow the connection and click next. So I have already added, so I won't do it again. So first, give permissions to FTP. It should be already there. If it's not there, create a new rule, type in FTP, and give uh, like access to all the ports. Then, if it's not working, I will let you know how you can check that. If it's not working, you can enable like 20, 21, and 22 port. And same goes to the outbound rule, 20, 21, and 22. And when I list on step, if you have any antivirus software, for me, it's the Windows Defender. I don't use any antivirus. The default antivirus I use. If you, if you have an antivirus, you have to also mention there to allow the port. Now, I don't know which antivirus you are using or like which port you are using. So, let's let's leave it and see if it works. If it's not work, then leave a the comment down below in the video. I will let you know a specific web page, like your uh, antivirus site, where they mention how you can uh, allow the, the port. Okay. So, let's get started. So just go to the browser and type in the IP address. So for me, it was 192.168.103. Okay, let's go to the IP address. Now it will ask for the password. So this is uh, this is the password that we created in the account. So login and boom, there you have it. All your files on your computer. Now this might work here, but this might not work in other devices because if Windows Firewall did something weird, if it didn't allow the port. So this data won't go outside your computer, which is a bummer. So let's check on our Android device. So let's set this up on my Android device. That is the Redmi Note 4. It can be any iOS or Android device. You just need to be connected on the same wireless network. So on Android, I'm using the ES File Explorer Pro. You can use the free version or the pro version. In iOS device, you can have some other FTP browser. You can search on the App Store. So now let's click on Add and click on FTP Server. Now let's put in your IP address that we selected earlier. That is FTP in slash slash 192.168.1.103. It varies. Maybe it's your might be different mostly. Uh, put in the username, the, the second username, the family account you created, put in that name. And display as like the way you want. I'm generally preferring the same that I kept on my computer. That is Akshay server. And there you have it. Let's click OK. And now it should connect. There you have it. It got connected. And I am audio, so asking to save the password. And all your files on your Android device. It can be on iOS device or it can be on multiple Android device. And you can access everything. So all your files, all the music files, all the videos directly on all your network. So now let's transfer, uh, let's see how, if you can view photos directly. Uh, the same way works the video. You don't need to download, you can directly stream from a computer. And there you have it. It didn't download, it actually streamed. Same goes for the video. So now let's demonstrate transferring some files from the device to the computer. Wow. You can do this with many devices. You can transfer or receive the file probably the speed is same so let's go to the download folder and in the download folder let's move that chrome os file so this is the file let's click on copy that's around 500 mb i guess so let's transfer it and click on paste and there you have it it is moving it wirelessly from the phone to the computer 
you should get around 3 to 5 mpbs depending on your router your network and your hardware so thanks for watching guys that's pretty much for this video if you have any queries leave in the comments down below thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now